Chill. No Capcom Cup was happening this week. Yeah, I was keeping up with that LCQ. <laughs> Good stuff. Might drive up to uh, catch the week. And the weekend tickets are pretty much sold out, so I sadly couldn't snag one. But I might still go up there, probably just hang out with a few folks on Friday. Ooh. I'm very blessed to be uh, living around the area. You know, uh, as much as I love being in Canada, when it comes to catching these big events, uh, I'm usually uh, SOL. Oh, unfortunate. Shout out my San Diego folk. We're not that far from LA, so, you know, it's... We could have it worse. <laughs> oh. oh, but Big Mac could not have it worse. Big command grab coming through from Scythe, who did pick the G. They're with the Vision Guard. Oh, they're command oh. grab. This might be stun. Yes, it is, and this should be enough. Doesn't even need to go for the hard stuff. Easy juggles. But not so easy for a round. Relatively close, but as soon as that V trigger was popped, it was all sight. I mean, as as G tends to do, honestly. This big crush counter to start off round two for Big Mac. You skill one start. Oh, big Finds jump the in! Jump in. Finds the juggle. Man, nothing quite like going corner to corner against G. Calls out the V shift. A more interaction could be stun. Oh, but nice tech. Can't hit nothing afterward though. Great techs at a Big Mac. Oh, look to convert off the EX Fireball. Sorry, let me... <laughs> Oops. They beat your activate. And really, any one of these Tiger Cannons hitting uh, easy confirm, but no, a fireball from Scythe. Uh, Scythe's own is what takes the game. Going right into game two. Hoping that we'll see some adjustments at a Big Mac. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, in terms of just like uh, being able to play Finds the, the good old neutral, uh, Big Mac actually was holding up pretty well. Oh, what a juggle into the uh, EX Tiger Africa. But yeah, uh, Big Mac wasn't actually like faring too too badly in the neutral. It was just that when Scythe was able to find that inch of momentum, just able to take it all the way, clean out the health bar, and might be able to do so again right here with the V trigger activate. Yeah, post activation, it looked like defensively Big Mac was really struggling. Perhaps a few unfortunate choices like the V shift in the corner. Looking well, for an opening, time, way to seal it the round. This time, the trigger, not so much of an issue. Oh, just gives him a speech and takes a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, I wouldn't know what that was like supposed to be, or maybe he was just done with the round, but uh, you know, give Scythe the benefit of the doubt. His version of the Tiger Knee, and now oh. it's all Big Mac. I, yeah, Mikey, I, I precisely made sure that we had Big Mac combo on stream just to fuck with you. For context, we were talking about Big Macs and Big Mac sauce on the East Coast stream, and Mikey went out of his way to get himself a Big Mac, tried one, absolutely hated it, um, tagged me on the tweet, and I did apologize, but oh, now we have Big Mac combo on grab. stream. Oh, man. Sagat wins. That's a little, uh, I don't know. That, that's genuinely surprising. Mikey, uh, have you never had a Big Mac before? It's also, not a Big Mac enjoy. Hold on, I'm, I'm bringing up the tweet. 
He called it a salad with dressing and a thick piece of bread in the center. I mean, when you put it that way, it definitely doesn't sound as appetizing. <laughs> but that thing is pumped with so much MSG, I, I don't see how you could hate it. Nice version of the high grab forget. And one thing I will say, uh, Scythe, uh, not really able to keep levels too, too well. Obviously, fireballs uh, don't knock down unless you use the EX, but... Just uh, Big Max ability to be able to end all the conversions into Tiger Knee or Tiger Uppercut uh, without V-Trigger up. Like Scythe has been kept at uh, level one pretty much the whole time. We did see a couple instances game one where Scythe was able to get level two and keep it that way, but ever since then, no power of the earth here. Oh, oh hang on, big activate. Great challenge into the activation. Spends it Not all enough to seal it out. Scythe is going to have to work his way in. Oh, great use of the stand medium kick to close that out. Classic Sagat poke. The Phillips head scooter screwdriver of uh, Sagat's moves works in pretty much every situation, except for the ones where it doesn't. You know, Mikey. Even when I do get a quarter pounder with cheese, I ask for a plane and I put Big Mac sauce on it. I'm sorry to say. I think it's just an issue. Oh man, incredible jump in. Applying the pressure in the corner. Scythe willing to challenge. Oh, big throw oh. will be enough. Not quite. B trigger active, but no, once again, the stand medium kick. Right to the stomach. Sagat wins. Big Mac going up in the set. That first game, like I said, Scythe uh, was able to just carry that momentum both rounds, but now uh, Big Mac just holding it down, keeping the boat steady, and sailing right into the lead, but now we're going right back to the lobby. Oh, we'll be looking at the character switch? Potentially, we could be seeing the gill. Oh. In your experience, would you say that Gil would feel, uh, fare better into the Sagat matchup, or is it just a uh, measure of how comfortable they are on the character? Uh, well, I wouldn't be too sure exactly, especially with Gil. Uh, not a very common character, to say the least. Uh, so true. But, <laughs> but I will be very interested to see if he does pull it out, because... Uh, you can definitely start matching the fireballs in a different kind. Oh, there it is. And the V-Skill 2 as well. Now, this is very interesting. You can start to turn Sagat's fireballs against them using these parries. Uh, where oh, I see. It proved to be quite the wall with the with the G. Uh, but being able to turn any kind of Sagat fireball into your own V-meter. Uh, definitely a positive where you otherwise didn't really have any. Oh, we G. That'll be a quarter pounder with cheese. Oh, drops the tiger uppercut, but you know, no real punish. Unfortunate spacing. Uh, catches him with the crouch medium punch. Oh no! Oh. Drops the combo into the tiger uppercut and takes so, so much damage. Oh! Shimmy's the tick throw. Oh, and gets just the crouch jab afterwards. Yeah, you saw that light kick there. Uh, Every girl in the world wants to get that grab there, like, after the stand light kick. Uh, it's, it seems bound to happen, but not that time. They can make establishing the fireball game once again. Oh, Scythe walking behind the ice ball. Managed to catch him low. Big, big jump over in. Shot. Trigger activate. Now one thing. Oh, hang on. Big feature activate. I might have to hold my words here for a second. And activating behind low tiger shot. Managing to uh, get a conversion off. Oh, no punish on the lariat. after the EX knee drop. No contest out of sight. 
Big inch here, it probably should not be it. Oh my God. Still able to keep up the zoning game quite well. Jump in, not anti aired, and now Big Mac. Uh, no HP at all. Oh, what a oh! punish! From that kind of range, knowing uh, the punish route on a very well spaced Lariat. One thing I, I was going to show say, the knowledge of these players. Go on. One thing I was going to say earlier, uh, when Scythe was playing G, obviously we did have, the, you know, you can use the G barrier to build up the V meter as well. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, and I can look this up here pretty quickly, uh, it is last recovery on Gil's parry. But I can look that up. So you can uh, close the gap earlier. And that's what the point I tried to make there earlier. Dash is up behind the fireball. Catches Big Mac charging up that V skill. Oh man, these layers beautifully spaced. On the level fourth, managing to crouch under the stand roundhouse. Oh, and tears with the V trigger. Locks up, keeps the pressure nice and simple. Gets caught by the fireball, but sadly no conversion after the activation. V trigger not a factor for Scythe anymore. Oh, punish. A Scythe was mashing after the EX knee drop. Life lead for Big Mac. Yeah, look at that. Used the parry and able to get the V trigger up. And yes, uh, I did now look it up. And I was right. Uh, Gil's parry does have a fast recovery. Oh, hang on. 10 seconds left. Oh no! Oh. I saw the startup of the anti-air, but not fast enough. And I was going to say we were running into a timeout situation. But Big Mac putting an end to it early, putting an end to the set early as well.